Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots. Today, I'm going to talk about two new safety features from Xtool you may consider. In my opinion, this is a one or the other. I'm showing some projects I made, but let's get into the first one, which is the air purifier. So this machine has extensive filtration. This is for people who live in apartments or condos and you cannot exhaust with smoke or for anyone with a laser who has a basement and no venting. Some of the machines will allow us to auto magically set it up with this little dongle. I'm going to be using the Xtool S1 40 watt for this. It's a diode laser. It's lovely. It's one of my favorites, y'all. I'm not even like a lie. So it's a super easy setup. I'm just going to attach this to the vent hose and then pop this onto the back of the AP2. Then I'm going to plug in the AP2, turn it on. I know it sounds weird. And then I'm just going to start designing. However, I designed this in my car. So I get asked that all the time. Can you design offline? Girl, I'm literally in my car at the Taekwondo when I put this in here. So I also get asked a lot about Curve, and so I decided to show a project with Curve. If you want to learn how to adjust the cuts, please look up a tutorial on that or let me know down below and I can provide one. Now you, if you are new to the S1 or you're new to lasers, I'm going really fast, aren't I? Look at these, these words don't match the pictures. I'm basically showing you how easy and quick it is to set this all up. So I'm offline, I'm gonna save it now. And then when I get home, I go online and look, S1 is found. AP2 is found, and you can even come in here to the settings. So I'm gonna go down here to the accessory information. I'm gonna hit auto, which means I'm setting it to do exactly what the system algorithm tells it to do. And you can even see the life of the laser and adjust the vent exhaust time. So I'll come back to that in a sec. So now I'm gonna open up the file that I made while my daughter was at Taekwondo. That's it. Now I'm going to use pre-made files. I'll put the links to those down below, but we just set the file up so that we can cut this right here. I'm gonna slow this port down. So I put in the settings over here. I've selected basswood, and now I'm going to mask. This is paper masking. It's from Tape Man Blue. I have it on subscribe and save because I love it that much. I'm just gonna put it on the front and the back of a piece of basswood. I'm also going to you know, make a little part down there at the bottom where I can use for a test right there. You can see my setup. The AP2 is directly under the S1 and I'm going to put my camera six inches away. This is my masking that we set up. I'm gonna pop it into the S1 on the honeycomb and tamp it down because it's a little warped. Put the laser over the material and hit this button, auto measure. Because we don't have a camera, the auto measure feature is going to measure that distance for us. We love that. We put the laser at the start at the upper left and then we hit mark processing area. Marking processing area is just how we tell the laser where we want to cut. So we hit the start, we move the laser to the bottom right area, press start again and watch what happens. Siggity bam, we have a rectangle. I'll never say siggity bam again, I'm sorry. But I'm just gonna pull this material into the processing area, get it positioned. Again, all of our settings are there. We're telling it to cut these three rectangles and we're telling it at what speed and what power. Framing allows you to watch where the laser is going to process your cut without cutting. It's a zero power right there. Now I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna close the lid and come back in here, go to process. When you look at this, it'll tell you how long it'll take. It'll tell you the trajectory, but I'm gonna go up here and hit start, which sends the file to the machine. When I hit start on the machine, it begins to process. Now, listen to this. All right, let's finish up this job and then listen to this. So that's still on. Coming out the back here. Very, very quiet. I was very impressed as kind of taken aback. So for those of you who are new to Curve, this is exactly what you do. I'm pulling off the masking, I'm taking one piece, slotting it in and wiggling it around. If ideally you want it to 
uh, stay without glue, you would just adjust the height or width or is usually the proper um, qualifier there. You adjust the height or the width. So in my case, it would be these tiny four rectangles is the only thing I'd really need to mess with. I, however, do not need to. So I'm gonna go ahead, set my settings for this entire thing, making sure, again, they're already in here, 107 and one, and then we're gonna do the same exact thing. We measure, we mark our area, and then we move our pieces into that area in order to process. Now you can frame it, but you can also be a rebel if you want. This is it at real time, and here it is sped up. So I process that and wipe down all of the edges whilst singing Christmas carols, I'm not gonna lie. And then I process the acrylic. So this machine can process some acrylic, not clear acrylic, and not mirror acrylic, but look, Super easy to assemble, super cute, I love it. I am going to use glue on this one because it's going to my daughter and she's a little heavy handed. So I also made a couple more wood projects, MDF and even slate, which is my favorite and I love doing in the S1. Now, I wanna talk to you about the price is insane if you have a laser, it, we also have additional discounts, contact me. But I wanna talk about who this is for. If you live in an apartment, a condo, or you have a basement you cannot vent out of, this is perfect. It will purify the air without outside venting, but if you do outside vent, you'll have almost no smell at all, and your neighbors won't see any smoke, those snitching neighbors. So I do recommend this for apartment dwellers, condo dwellers, or anybody without a venting system. Again, all the pricing is there for you. So now I wanna talk about this. You do not need this and the AP2. You need one or the other, in my opinion. Xtool says do not run them at the same time. I have both of those, the IF2 and the IF1, so I'm gonna be pitting these against each other, okay? So this is what the IF2 looks like. She's very sleek. Let's set her up. So this entire setup took me eight minutes. <laughs> That's it. It's very quick. So I removed the dongle for the AP2, and here's the one for the IF2. I'm sorry for all the acronyms, but I just want to note, not only is she very sleek and very cool, but let me explain. Look how easy that is to clean. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I can't tell you. Cleaning should be talked about more often in lasers. I love the S1 because it is easy to clean, and this is going to be way easier to clean than my other inline fan. So Little quick setup, I got one going outside, that's the one to the left, the one coming from the S1 into the uh, IF2 here, that's the front, by the way, I had to flip it over, and then I'm going to label the dongle, pop it into the S1, and then turn it on. So you can see it auto connects, I'm so happy. Again, we can come in here and adjust settings, so you can um, adjust the uh, quiet level, which was shocking. Uh, I'm going to leave it on regular so we can test it. And then you can also do the exhaust time and the buzzer, which I turned off because no ma'am. So now we're going to go into design find. This is for my new laser people. If you are worried, there aren't projects for you to literally choose. Look, there's tons. I purchased files from this designer, so I'm going to do his free one right here and it's a gnome. So inside here, you can get all the information about what you need to have on hand, the instructions, and then you can hit the open in XCS button and biggity bam, she comes right in. You can see both of my machines are here ready. So now all we have to do is load in our masked material because I'm lazy. I didn't mention that. You can see the crosshairs moving. I'm putting the material, uh, crosshair over the material, and I'm doing the same exact steps for the S1. We auto measure, we mark our area, and we drag everything into that area so it can be processed. Now, speaking of processing, I'm gonna unlock this and go in here and look at the settings for the gnome. This is an engraving setting at 60 and 10. Girl, my machine would burn through this at that. So I'm going to do 35 and 200. I'm gonna leave the LPC and then you can frame it, but I'm gonna be a rebel and just process it. Look at me go. Anyway, same screen here it tells you how long you're gonna send the file by pressing start. You get a nice little safety message. Then you press start on your machine. It's so quiet! Seven. 
So that sound is only the inline fan. I was very impressed with this inline fan. I'm literally going to rip my first one off the wall today to set this one up. I need a splitter to run both my machines through it, the S1 and the P2, but I am very excited for this inline fan. Again, my opinion, you need one or the other. It's not going to be better to daisy chain these things, but if you have any additional questions, I'm going to put some affiliate links down below and you can always use the comments to ask me anything you have in your, on your mind. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.